Hi, it's Paul Mosenson, New Spark Marketing. Today we're going to go over how to do promoted tweets utilizing keywords. Targeting, keyword targeting. So, you have your Twitter here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to Twitter ads. Assuming you already have your credit card information already set up. Log in with the same credentials as your regular Twitter. Sign in. Okay, we're going to create a new campaign. We're just going to go over promoted tweets for this video, which is if you have a certain message or offer, call to action, promotion, or whatever you want to promote, blog post, you can do it reaching audiences who are talking about certain keywords. Which So there's three options here, and we're going to target by keyword. So there's two options where you want your ads to appear, whether they're going to be on your user timeline or um, search results when people, other people search for keywords, your ads will show up. Let's stick with user timelines here. Um, as it says here, display to users who write or engage with tweets containing your keyword. So we are talking, targeting people with interest. Now, the way you put keywords in, you got to be careful. Sometimes you're targeting people who do what you do. So um, you can be creative and do a lot of testing here. So we're going to either have a list of keywords, which means uh, you can import them or um, enter them separately. So here's what we're going to do. Let's say you sell wealth management services. Okay. So who do I want to target? People who might need that. So I mean, you can test different things. 401k. Let's do need financial uh, retirement planning. You know, just like Google AdWords, let's come up with um, various keywords that people are talking about that you want to be in front of. You can even put um, quotes if you want to do a phrase match. No, I'm just using broad matches here. Just like Google AdWords. So let's put in a couple other ones in. How about um, financial planning? As you can see, there's exact matches, phrase matches, negative matches. Let's do, let's just put it anyway, since that's what wealth management. Let's keep it in phrase matches. Now, if you want to do a, um, nope, this one's a little broad here. Let's remove that one. Okay. There's little arrows next to the keywords if you want to change the match type. <clears throat> right now, we're saying, staying with phrase match. For the most part. Okay. Um, automatically match searches on relevant trending topics. You can do that as, looks like that's, can't do that one yet <laughs> when you do user timelines. Okay. All right. So, locations, uh, you can target national, United States, um, or uh, regional. So, for me, let's just say because I'm in the Philadelphia area, we'll do a search for Philadelphia, which is the metro area. Uh, let's put in um, New York City. New York, New York. Okay. This one's interesting. You can target desktops or Androids or Apple. Um, not sure why you would do one or the other, but in case you have a um, mobile landing page, you don't have to do desktop. We'll do everybody. Gender. Well, that makes sense if you're... Um, Targeting, you know, certain products that go to different genders. Okay, and then we got to decide which ones, which um, promotes, uh, which excuse me, which tweets we want to promote. Um, these are my recent tweets, and um, you can use one of these, or a, um, you know, maybe ideally, if you just want to promote one tweet, you should tweet first, and then it'll show up like a special promotion, which I didn't do. So let's just say um, we're going to promote. You know, you can pick one, or you can pick two, or three, or a variety of them. So, um, if I have a special offer, I might just put, um, 
tweet once, or if I have two offers and do like an A-B test, I'll promote two, two tweets. Okay, and then you get your credit card information, determine your uh, campaign budget, how much you want to spend, let's say $500, and then of course daily budget. Well, I might do this for 10 days, so I'll um, do $50. And just like Google AdWords, um, your promoted tweets can go throughout the day, or they can be accelerated, which means they'll run quicker in the morning and then run out um, if you don't if not spending enough much. I like standard. Um, you can hit people throughout the day. Then of course there's bidding, and uh, you know this is a uh, you know um, Twitter doesn't even know how much you should be bidding. Uh, no bid guidance is available at this time, so. Use whatever's default here, or you can bid higher, bid lower, because it is, you know, if you have a competitive industry, you might want to bid higher. Um, I do internet marketing; that's very competitive, so I might have to bid higher. But um, you have to just test it and see, and then give your campaign a name. We'll just say wealth management. Okay, now we create campaign, and that's all you had to do to um, create a campaign like that. So here's a, another campaign I ran for myself, um, downloading my ebooks, which I was testing this. So that campaign ran for a few days, just for my test. And then you, once the campaign is running, you can measure the analytics. 6,300 impressions, 39 engagements, which is a, um, if you read what an engagement is, it's a, um, here's the breakdown. It's a click, which is what I wanted. Nobody retweeted it, nobody replied to it, and nobody followed me because of it. But um, this is a uh, paper engagement as compared to a paper click, even though most of the uh, clicks I paid for. But if somebody retweeted your content, you'd pay for that as well, based on the um, bid that you put in. So um, 39 engagements, spent $50, cost per engagement, buck twenty-nine during this time period. So that's the tweet that I was running. Most people saw it on Apple programs, but that's interesting, and not desktops. United States, of course, that's where I was targeting anyway. Um, I was actually targeting um, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and New York and Philadelphia and Washington DC. These are the keywords I was testing. Again, I'm an internet marketer, so I was just throwing out the various terms of what I do. Gender is pretty equal. They obviously you can only track gender on desktops or something because the unknown um, that's where I got 39 followers out of that. That's interesting. Here are the keywords. Most of it is more leads. <laughs> and not too much anyplace else. Anyway, this is still new. I'm still testing it, but um, this is how... Um, Twitter cost per engagement works by keyword on user timelines. That's it.